Hello, ladies. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Gail, Ramona, and Beth. <coughs> I hope you're doing good today. Uh, and if you are in the southeast, <coughs> I think that the storm is still going on, isn't it? Let me just check. I forgot to check right before the live. And if you ever want to check on this kind of stuff, this is what I use. As you know, the this kind of radar, if you look at the uh, bottom right, it says layers. And in the overlays, you go in the alerts and you click on whatever alerts you want to see. So I guess that... Florida still has a warning. The Southeast doesn't have anything. It's just in the Ohio, Pennsylvania area. So I hope you're not. Didn't you have a hard freeze warning of some sorts in California? Because I know I was really. Hey! These little spoiled brats just want to play. And they are chasing each other, and sometimes they bang. Okay, so hi, Darla, Gabby, Colleen, Karen. So, well, uh, for Pennsylvania, that's not that unusual, is it? And I think it is a little bit too bright. Yes, it is. Let's get on and... There we go. That's more natural. Okay, so... Uh, one of the things that I wanted to show you is a natural kind of like crackle on crackle if you want. This is this, uh, you can find these separately. I got as a gift, I don't know, like three years ago from somebody the whole set. But you can find some of these on Polyclay Play, some of them on uh, uh, my Amazon Influencer Store. So I'm going to choose this one to do some crackle stuff. Hey, the Peruvian lady is back. Hi, Anna. Hola. Oops. Peru is Spanish, not Portuguese, is it? Or am I messing up? Okay, so, uh, the things that I wanted to show you uh, for next time, we are going to do some crackle stuff uh, w with paint, okay? And what I wanted to show you, and actually, it's because I'm not entirely sure if where I got each of these. Some of them I got them directly from Hobby Lobby. But I think that yes. And actually this one you can find at Trish. Let me switch to the display. This texture you can find the tri at Trish. It's this one. The cr it's called Crackle Background, and you can see it's like five dollars. Why I like these specific texture mats a lot is because they are perfect for uh, bracelets. And uh, she's got another one, but let me see. She's got the Distress Crackle Paint. I think I have it somewhere too. Uh, no, she 
doesn't have these so let's check in my influencer store and by the way I added a few things in my uh, COVID uh, section on top of the um, as I was saying this is the respirator mask that I am using and I only that I bought these filters for it because they are stronger than the filters that come provided with a mask uh, but let me see the the bad thing is that I cannot search in a specific segments also I don't know if you noticed in the influencer store I separated the resin because apparently I can only have a certain number of items in my in each department so it wasn't showing everything anymore so I separated into uh, resin resin and kids molds pigments and inclusions they are all separate but I just have to make a new a new thing. Let's let's check here if we can find this. So I can uh, tell you what to what would be the best. This one is great. This is the one that I that I have on it's in it's an older um, label, this one. And it's fairly fairly big this one the one that I'm showing you it's only four fluid ounces this one is eight so this one one step crackle which is awesome this is smaller than the one I have it's only a two ounce but honestly considering the pr price it's better to get a bigger one and then uh, there's all kinds of stuff but I'm looking for the this other one that I got at I think this one I got at Hobby Lobby and it's not there one step crackle again because this one you might want to check in the it's kind of like this one but it's a different uh, brand it's the the same thing I mean what differs between them is that some of them you put it on top of other paint to make it uh, to make it crackle while other ones they are like a crackled finish a crackled varnish on it okay so let me see hi Elaine apparently it didn't okay why well, didn't say hello to Carla hi Sonia and Mario did bonsoir okay so let's get back on track with this whole thing so one of the first things so to show you again so this one are going to use next time uh, this one we are going to use next time and if you go by your Hobby Lobby you can look on for this one I have no idea what it is what brand it is doesn't say on it I just grabbed it because it was they had the <laughs> they had a sale at the paints area so I grabbed a lot of stuff there okay so to get a 
different thing because last time I showed you bummer I forgot to bring them just a second I guess I picked them up from the kitchen, but I must have put them down somewhere because I can, they are not there anymore. Anyway, the um, turquoise effect I was telling you last time, just remember that I used the um, a mica clay because I'm out of the Primo turquoise, but as you can see, it gives a great and this is not varnished, it's just sanded and buffed. And as you can see, it gives a great uh, matrix effect. <laughs> Thank you. Remember, you can look on my Amazon influencer store. I have a section special with um, nail colors, nail polish. And it's in there, it's in the... Uh, color club in the halo. I think this one is called harp on it They're all it's a whole series of uh, holographic stuff anyway, so Let's go on it And I'm going to just Not find my cosmetic sponge again, so grab a piece of wax paper and actually on this one I can go backwards even if I usually like to put the I usually like to put the um, uh, wax the texture on the bottom and okay so Let's just do this. So as you can see, I do have a crackle effect, right? No idea what it is. But anyway, those were in this style, the the crackle effect we did last time, only that they were hearts. And as I said, I have no idea what I did with them. I got them ready to bring them here, and I put them somewhere. Nobody knows where. Okay, so, if we get this, and I was telling you that you can do all kinds of other... Um, Goodness gracious, I started to to prepare my stuff for today and I guess I got just a second. Has it ever happened to you that <laughs> that you grab something to go somewhere and then you get interrupted, you put it down and then you cannot find it because it's not where it was supposed to be when you you worked with it and it's not where it was supposed to you were supposed to bring it to. So yeah. This is what's going on right now. So this would work on white. 
and we are going to do a little bit of... Uh, it's not the kind of stuff that Finnegan would play with. So no, it's not Finnegan. And Finnegan plays with beads and he plays with wrappers and paper. He steals receipts, he steals envelopes. He's a spoiled little brat. And I just posted a new video of him on his Facebook page with him thinking what what stuff can he, what trouble can he go in today. Okay, so I'm going first to get some gray gray, just plain gray. And I'm going to tell you a secret. I always, almost always, I'm uh, over overestimated how much I'm going to use when it comes to uh, when it comes to come on when it comes to the um, uh, chalk pastel. Okay, so. With this gray, I'm going to go mostly, I'm going to try to get it mostly in the cracks. It doesn't have to go everywhere. Just in some of them. And besides, I'm not going to use on this one. I guess I didn't overestimate. Um, I'm not going to use this whole thing. And I'm telling you, it's something going on. I mean, all I can think is this whole thing with Ukraine, because they've been flying planes like crazy. the base near me and usually Saturday and Sunday they don't do that too much so as you can see I'm not going all over the place Catherine um, I am very blessed because uh, the twins they were always very well behaved they never jumped on counters, climbed curtains, messed up with the furniture and all that. And uh, I guess because Finnegan practically was raised by, ze by them, he's not doing that either. The only things that he might steal are things that are already on the floor or that are overlooking the the edge of... Okay, what happened here? Something happened here. Hold on. What happened here that you cannot see me? looking there no there's something in the There we go. I have no idea why I did that. Because I didn't mess it up. Okay, so. I'm going to remove all the gray that was on top of these.
using packing tape because remember we we try to do the full stone effect so if you hear noises of jet planes that's what it is as I said they are flying more than usual today yeah Finnegan likes to smell polymer clay and likes to know what's happening so he would very often visit my jump on my uh, table that's the only place where he jumps on and I guess it's my fault because if you remember I did a while ago when he was three m not long after he was three months old was with him meeting polymer clay hi Francis and uh, yeah there was a so now I'm going to get some earthy colors and I'm going to get two warm ones and one colder one okay so first and this time I'm not going to use the paintbrush I'm going to use my finger because I want to only get the very top and uh, there's another thing I'm going to show you that you probably never thought of it or at least most of you never thought of it let me actually go on all of these get it where it belongs good morning Wendy so yeah today we finally have 56 degrees but it's still fairly cold at night And as you can see, it already looks fairly stony, right? Then My next thing, hi Jainan, my next thing will be to grab some wax paper and with the shiny part down, I am going to first just get, get it to kind of stay in place. and I start burnishing that way I know that my uh, powder the chalk powder powdered chalk pastel is going to press down into the clay right so then I'm going to follow and I am pressing down I'm not rolling I'm just pretty much pressing down on all of this and from time to time remove it and you'll get some chalk pastel on it 
so at this stage I'm still pressing down And you can feel that and you can see also because remember I told you this is why you always want to use wax paper not regular paper whenever you do a, um, a burnishing because you can see where the clay is not stuck to the paper it's going to be white and at this point I can turn to the roller and once again I'm not going to roll pressing down I'm going to rub and you can see how it starts getting a little bit grayer remember that I have gray powder on the very bottom and you can feel it so at this point it's pretty much you can feel it with your finger and it, at this point it's pretty much flat so have a fairly flat effect of course I can leave it like this and it will be absolutely fabulous it's a simple crackle effect that will be kind of a 3D because it will not have any kind of um, dimension but it will have a dimension as you look at it only that remember because it is chalk pastel it needs sealing yes that is really nice let me just get rid of the chalk pastel powder I have around here and then I'm going to use the as usual moving the camera away and I'm going to use the heat gun and again I'm going to first uh, let it heat right a little bit and then start applying it I'm trying to get this even farther away I'm testing with my finger now. But I don't want it to be too cooked. I want a fine grain. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Played, I made some, we made some flowers with my sponsors yesterday and I guess I still have a few and I didn't notice that they moved place what am I looking for oh yeah I had one of those moments when you go open the fridge door look inside and you sit stay there and stand there for like 30 seconds like what the heck am I looking for here and then you realize that actually you wanted to go to the bathroom
and this it will get a little bit more actually I might have baked it a little bit too much and now you will have a different type of crackle it will follow the crackle of your texture but you can actually make it crackle in different spots not just on the texture just use something underneath it and gently bend it that you'll get the clay crackled not just in the lines that the texture had and this as well and then I'm going to go back on it again with my wax paper with the shiny side down and then very gently roll very gently I don't want to be too going too strong because this is what might happen so this is messed up I didn't do it gently enough but we can still work this so Remember I told you that sometimes my hands, I don't have a lot of good control over them. So there we go, we have a nice stone effect that's double whammy. Okay, so next thing to do obviously is to get a nice cut and then there will be a second thing that we do on it I'm gonna be like a double whammy And at this point you can use, if you want to, you can use uh, resin, but I suggest that you use just regular varnish or even uh, liquid clay. So. So I'm just going to go with this because this can be baked. And simply apply it. Now don't re don't forget that we have some areas where it is cracked, so it's going to soak up some of the varnish.
just make sure that you cover all the little spots that have the chalk pastel on them now do you need to put a backing on it you don't need to you can if you want to but you don't really need to now remember even if this looks white milky white once it hardens it will not be white right and the same happens with the liquid clay and once again I recommend the Kato poly clay liquid clay or the Fimo gel they are the best liquid clays out there and by the way if you didn't notice or if you're not subscribed and you don't get the needs cos clay finally came up with translucent clay so I guess I'm going to have to order some because I resisted doing anything with cos clay until they started producing um, translucent because on the stuff that I do there has to be a little bit of translucent in you know just for the good part give me just a second I need to go put this in water I guess my cats are all excited today for some reason. Uh, triple sick, no. Uh, triple sick is the same as the Mod Podge. Uh, they are horrible in areas where there is a high humidity. And you risk getting a lot of stickiness. And it's not not a good thing at all all right so i started feeling bad all of a sudden i don't know why now what i wanted to show you what in the world Triple sick is not liquid clay, is it? Not that I know of. It's a polyurethane, it's a glaze, it's not clay. Because I know you cannot bake it. It's a glaze. It's... Let's see. This is triple thick. And the thing is that, and generally speaking, um, 
you see here it doesn't really say anything about plastic uh, resins but um, and I think why it might have uh, that kind of effect because you have super thick gloss mud mod podge and the triple thick and they are both not very good um, but this is just a, an idea out there um, a triple thick I think goes better on stuff that's got porosity and remember that the polymer clay when it is not baked it is porous but when it is uh, baked it's not porous anymore so there are cer certain things that you cannot uh, really use when it's like that okay let me check something here now for next time as i said we are going to we are going to do this uh, next time but I'm going to have to have some stuff already done because some of these um, they require a long time to to work like the one step it's like two to four hours so obviously we won't be able to wait for that long during the live so i'll have some pieces already done so you can see how it looks like uh, but as i was saying it depends how it is because on this one on the one step crackle as i said it's one to four um uh, two to four hours but uh, you have to apply it um you apply it simply over anything and it can be a painted thing and what we are going to do we are going to go with it over something that is baked and i'm going to just use this plain uh, black thing um not for this but for other stuff i'm going to use a, a black thing that um uh, I'm going to apply either uh, chalk pastel or mica using stencils and then applies this and I know this is round we're gonna do on um, hearts and I'm going to have some stuff that's already done yeah cos clay is really good for sculpting then this one is applied under the paint that you want to look crackle so you're gonna apply this thing then any color of acrylic you want and then somebody who really likes to get blocked there we go uh, so you first apply the remember all of these they have to be used before after you bake not before um, so this one you apply it on the piece and then you apply the the color and on this one we're gonna work with some uh, color shift and this one is on top of the this is why I wanted to work with these three things because on this one you apply it on any kind of medium painted another one what's the is the invasion of the russians and i'm not gonna t just time her out i'm going to completely hide her and report her and report 
Nu e Jana Karetnikova and Jana Kirilova. Gonna take the time to go look at their profiles to see what they are up to. Okay, so that's why I wanted to uh, to check with these three, and then we'll probably. Um, I do have quite a bit of medium, uh, medium painting medium that I want to show you. Uh, probably it will be some of it will be in uh, already uploaded videos, but uh, some of it will be on live because it will require a little bit more explanation than just a simple uh, tutorial. Now these, it started hardening a little bit so I can show it better to you then remember with the uh, scalpy uh, varnish you can uh, directly bake it now uh, I did it on plain white you can go on a little bit of a beige color you can do it on a little bit of a more um, um, grayish color and if you do not have this cracking crackle uh, thing what you can do let me grab a piece of clay from here you can use like if you have a there we go we'll just go here just get your clay through the machine or whatever and then just create a crackle it might take longer if you do not have something like this but you can create a crackle effect with a toothpick as you can see here so you can have exactly this oops sorry it's not completely <laughs> you can have exactly something like this but even without having the texture right and you can work on it so um, I was going to show you something else but as I said all of a sudden I, I'm I think I might have a drop in the blood pressure I need coffee because it's like I went whoop went a little dizzy and stuff so I don't know I didn't drink as much coffee as I normally do in the morning anyway uh, so it's not a full hour I am so sorry but I promise you next time we'll do more stuff and I'll already have stuff ready like this one and find those little hearts so I can show you how to finish those earrings but try and experiment with this because as you can see it is a really really nice effect and you can try it with with various other colors this is just for the turquoise thing of course you use turquoise clay not pearlescent turquoise clay <laughs> uh, but as i said this is not resin this is not varnished it's the effect that you get just with simple sanding and buffing and you can see it looks very stonish very something something there thank you so much and i shall see you all next sunday and hopefully i'll be able to upload soon something because i'm working on things but it's been i'll be very honest with you it was so cold that number one my pain level was higher and number two uh, because it was cold during the day and during the night was below freezing the floor got very hot uh, very cold and uh, even if i had um, really thick socks and stuff it was i was too cold to do anything else but just get tucked in one of those uh, couch uh, throws and watch TV or read. That was all I could do. It was too cold. I'm sorry. <laughs>
thank you so much for being here oh and another thing um i am preparing actually i'm gonna be a few more minutes just because i want to show you this I didn't do this in a long time and I think it's about it's gonna take me a little bit because I'm sanding and uh, buffing uh, I'm preparing a package like I used to do the packages remember um, I'm going to do a sale on stuff from various tutorials and then I'll finally bring out the four gemstones and other stuff that is just fantasy stuff as you can see this is not actually any kind of for anything it's just a something pretty or this one as well and some of them are from my old experiments for four gemstones or made just out with remnants this is made out with remnants from a turquoise tutorial uh, this is just my experiments on the scale effect and this you already know because I showed this to you before is my fall bumble bumblebee jasper and remember I showed it to you with the real stones on the side I think I might actually have them around here this is the blue lace agate in part though actually I can Give me just a second to get a, a little bit closer. So you can see better. So this is the blue lace agate. Once again the bumblebee. And this is one of the experiments for tiger's eye but I have a ton of them this was for the green oops and this is the condor agate this is the maramamba for maramamba and this is a dendritic agate can see that it is translucent it's got a lot of depth so uh, stuff like this will be but as I said right now I am sanding but you're gonna find a lot of the things from uh, yes this is a real real bumblebee they are very different each bumblebee stone is different from the other the four golden tiger's eye another four maramamba for turquoise so there will be all kinds of things and you'll be able to let me reconfigure it to normal you'll be able to purchase quite a bit and yes there would be s there will be some uh, uh, canes as well as beads because I have a ton of art beads there are still a few if you go on on my website I'm not sure if you were aware of it or not but I'm going to show you 
I still have a few sets of beads there so if you go on my website and you go in the store if you go in the beads they are all kinds of bead sets and they're all with canes and some of them are larger some of them are uh, smaller but they are all described uh, let's you can see them some of them are with micro bead micro caning as you can see they are super tiny caning and this one is the one that I like to call the pomegranate cane so yeah uh, there'll be oh great I didn't <laughs> press the I am something else. So this is a pomegranate bead set. The a micro caning bead set. And as I said, each of them have the exact description on each of them so but that's how everything else will be but as i said i do have quite a quite a ton of of beads and stuff so um i'm still working as i said i'm still sanding and buffing and varnishing on some of them so remember you go to my website and you can find what is still there uh the rest so you go to kalianadesign.com and then you go to store and then you'll find their beads or they're still let me see i think that there's still a two or three distaches left from last time Oh, there are more. There are there are one, two, three. There are four D stash packages, and on each of them, there's the presentation of each piece. And uh, this one has some beads, and then there's a link to the video because whenever I do these D stashes if you've never because it's true i didn't do it in quite a bit uh whenever i do these these stashes i first present them on a video so that way i can uh, put a a mark so that when you go in the store you can watch the video uh, from that point where that number of this stash is uh shown okay so thank you so much and i shall see you next sunday and no worries i will announce when i i post the distash and when i post the new the new things so that you know i'm trying to make it for uh, um february 1st so that in case you want to get some stuff for valentine's day you have enough time so see you next sunday thank you so much i love you all and have a wonderful wonderful week and stay healthy and safe